Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Now at 6 a.m. on WKYT, a central Kentucky home is leveled during an overnight fire. Only WKYT News was there on the scene. And you'll find out what crews are saying about how the fire started. Lexington police are investigating an overnight shooting that sent one man to the hospital. And why you can expect some major delays starting today on parts of New Circle Road. Those stories and more and breaking news as it happens. Coming up on WKYT This Morning. Morning. Hey, top of the morning to you and welcome in. It is your Wednesday, December 10th, right in the middle of the week now. I'm Bill Bryant. Rebecca's on a later shift today. A lot of news to get to you, obviously, and we'll have that in just a moment. Let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris. He promises some good improvements in our weather. Yeah, and I don't make many promises about the weather because it does what it wants to do, but I promise you this once we get by today, it'll look much better. The feel will you know, slowly but surely get better, but as we head toward the weekend, I promise you this, things look great. There's First Alert Defender Live Radar, and we even have some flurries outside right now of the WKYT studio live here in Lexington. If you look over toward the eastern zones, there we are, streaming southbound, coming in from the north, and that's your main area that could see those flakes fly. But remember, we're not expecting any accumulation out of this. Current temperatures in the 30s. Uh, we may finish off 34, 35 degrees, but don't expect for it to change much as we work our way off into the afternoon. As you can see, temperatures right there in the mid 30s, too. We'll go over the latest forecast when we can move this nasty stuff on out coming up in just a few minutes. We'll see you in a bit, and we thank you. And leading our news this morning, we're beginning with a crime alert in Lexington. Police are looking for suspects after an overnight shooting. The victim told police it happened at a house on Manhattan Drive just off Bryan Station Road. This is just outside of New Circle. WKYT's Victor Puente is live at the hospital now with details on the crime alert. He's joining us. Victor, good morning. Good morning, Bill. This investigation is just beginning. Police say there was about an hour delay between when this man was shot and when they were called. They say the actual shooting happened around 11 at a home on Manhattan Drive. The victim told police some people he didn't know came in, they got into an argument, and he was shot. The police weren't called until about midnight when he came here to UK Hospital to be treated for that gunshot wound. Police say his injury is non-life threatening. They're hoping someone in the area can tell them more about what happened. Interviewing the neighbors to see if they heard or saw anything to help give us some leads. Uh, you know, it's the physical evidence will help us figure out some of the things that are going on in there. Police tell us because it's so early in the investigation, they don't have much other information. They also don't have descriptions of the other people involved. Live in Lexington, Victor Puente. WKYT. Victor, thank you very much. Also new this morning, it took several fire departments hours to get an overnight house fire under control. That fire destroyed a home on Little Brush Creek Road in the West Bend community of Powell County. Now that's just outside of Clay City. Check out this eyewitness picture that we got from the scene just as the fire was getting underway. You can see it was already up in flames by the time crews arrived. Here's video now from the scene from our WKYT news crew. Firefighters say no one was hurt. That's because no one was home when the fire started, and they say one of the big challenges to getting the fire under control was its remote location. Due to the fact of the water supply in this area, hydrants are few and far between. Uh, I think our closest hydrant is in, we have to go back to town to get water and bring it back. Firefighters we talked with on the scene said they could not comment about how the fire may have started. Apparently, they had to run back and forth about eight times trucking in that water. State police will be sending an arson investigator to the scene later today. Also new this morning, police in a southern Kentucky area working right now to clean up a huge mess after a log truck has crashed. This happened just after 3 o'clock this morning in Wayne County, very near the Pulaski County line. The crash is on Kentucky 90 that runs between Somerset and Monticello. State police say a log truck and a car crashed and then a semi wrecked trying to avoid that mess. No one was hurt. Kentucky 90 is down to just one lane in that area. And we have a traffic alert for those of you traveling on New Circle Road in Lexington. Starting today, state transportation leaders say crews will be blasting twice a day on New Circle at Old Frankfort Pike. It's part of an ongoing widening project. They say traffic will be stopped around 10 o'clock in the morning and again around 2 o'clock in the afternoon on days when the crews are blasting. And the road will be closed for around 20 minutes each time. 
So keep that in mind and avoid it if you're uh, uh, planning to go through that area. Blasting will continue for the next few weeks. Happening today, a man accused in a shooting in a Walmart parking lot is heading to court. Michael Edward will be arraigned this morning in Clay County. Police say Edward shot Richard Lawson Monday morning during an argument over property. Lawson was flown to UK hospital in critical condition. Edwards is facing several charges, including attempted murder. The family of a woman accused of causing a crash that killed her infant granddaughter says people shouldn't rush to judgment on this. Melissa Warstill's case is headed to a grand jury in Laro County. Police say she was high on drugs last week when she crashed her car, killing six-month-old Ivy. She's charged with murder and DUI. But family members say they wish the public would wait until all of the evidence is presented. She loved that baby with every ounce of life in her. But people are crucifying her out there. And, you know, she's guilty in everybody's mind, not knowing any of the facts. Family members say that Warstel told them that she was reaching for the baby's bottle when she ran off of the road and crashed. Well, some drivers in a downtown Lexington neighborhood say they're furious after being targeted by vandals. Police say someone slashed the tires of nearly a dozen cars parked near West Main and Jefferson Streets. One victim says he's lived in that area for around eight years and has never had a problem with crime until now. And they smashed the window to get, you know, $15 worth of, you know, office materials and paperwork that mattered to me, but not to them. Lexington police tell us so far they have not made any arrests. Well, it may seem like a good deal at first. Somebody comes up claiming to be with the city, and they're up to your door knocking and offering to rake your leaves. But Lexington city leaders say, don't be fooled. This is just a big scam. They say some people in neighborhoods on the south side of town have fallen victim. In some cases, the scammers stopped by after city crews had collected leaves. City leaders say leaf collection crews will never go door to door and ask for money. Well, some patients at Kentucky Children's Hospital did some holiday shopping without having to leave the building. It was all thanks to the annual visit from Jarrett's Joy Cart. The program lets children shop for everyone on their Christmas list free of charge. Fifteen years ago, young cancer patient Jarrett Minear started the Joy Cart wow. as a way to bring joy to other children. He died in 2002, but his legacy certainly lives on. He was very precocious. Uh, he was diagnosed with cancer when he was two and a half, and he fought, you know, for 11 years, passed away when he was 13 and a half years old. But uh, he was, uh, in addition to being very intelligent, he was a very compassionate child. He was all of those things as he visited us many times here at WKYT. While Jared's joy cart began at Kentucky Children's Hospital, it has since spread to many other children's hospitals around the country. Jared would be very, very proud of that. And the number one team in the country will be back in action tonight on the court. The Kentucky Wildcats will host Columbia tonight at Rupp Arena. The Cats will look to extend their undefeated record to 10-0. Tonight's game is at 7 o'clock, and you can see it on ESPN2. Eight minutes after 6, our time on WKYT this morning. Let's check live drive traffic, see how things are moving. Here's Officer Don. Hey, good morning, Don. Good morning. I may have some slick spots to deal with here and there this morning, so be aware of that. But for the most part, the roads are okay. Uh, as you head into work, remember they're doing construction, a uh, new circle around Leestown. Uh, they worked on that last night. You could see some construction barrels there and some changes. Same deal on Leestown Road, uh, just a, a, a past new circle toward Masterson Station. Let's get a look outside real quick. We'll show you what's happening. A live look at the interstate on our Waze map. Uh, normal traffic flow throughout the city. Uh, we can see live drivers slowing down. Nicholasville and Man of War also on. Harrodsburg Road approaching Wellington Way. Slowdowns already. And around the circle there, we're talking about in that area of Leestown, Versailles Road. You can see the construction symbols uh, where they're working. Now back to you in the studio. All right, so everybody, a heads up on that. Otherwise, a good start to the day. Don, thank you very much. Coming up, maybe he was trying to hide a bad hair day. Bad hair day. <laughs> Why a humane society is now caring for a very well dressed sheep. And you definitely got to throw your sweater on this morning, maybe a light coat, because outside right now it's really chilly and also some flakes are flying around in the east, flurries back toward the west and the central zones. When do we move this stuff on out, though? I'll show you a really nice forecast after today. Coming up next.